to your mind, Twitter. Andy Wardle, Craig, I'm back out up a mountain in Northumberland with forecast 65 mile per hour, per hour winds, sunglasses on, and I'm cooking chicken fajita wraps with a few beers. Now that's a Saturday night out. All the best. And he set a picture, look, in his tent. And he does wild camping. Oh, man, he's living the dream, right? Living the dream. Gotta have a hobby. What's, what's wrong with lying on the couch watching telly? Don't get me doing that. Yeah, listen, Andy, have a, have a word with yourself. You wonder why you're cold. Next up... <laughs> of the wind you can hear but it's wild and it's going to get worse apparently so I've got my black label solo in case the wind does get worse delta pegs <laughs> very important and I'm going to try and find sheltered as I can try and get sheltered there's a few cans knocking about here let's we'll see where I end up my ankle's hurting a little bit. Took some tablets, but uh, it might go away. Um, it's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight. The Draconids, or the Dra Draconids, I don't know how you say it. Doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, we'll hopefully get some clarity for that. Forecast, there's no rain, wind and cloud. Which normally means rain. <laughs> we'll see. That's buggy. Some five minutes. Oh, the wind's terrible. It's probably wild. Exposed areas. There's a cairn on the top leg. Might be alright. That comes here with stalker and peas. I was there. Good night here. Have quite a laugh, a few beers. I think that's where Dave had his 45 cans of red stripe. <laughs> cooking area here, it's all it's all good here. Don't fancy a big walk. I'm gonna go as far as I can and see what it's like. I've left enough time to come back if it's too much. We'll see. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's not a good path, like. Oh, you've just gotta find your way. Ugh, right in it. That was wet. Dull. Look like you stand on solid ground and it just vanishes. What you gotta look for is the the Simon Cowell heads. Uh, they're normally roots and uh, they're normally quite supportive. This is a nightmare path. Horrible. Don't like it. This is what happens when it rains here. It's the path of death up there. Oh, I'm hoping the wind's blowing the right way so I can, uh, I can tuck in behind the shelter. Tompo pitched there once and it was all right, it was quite sheltered, it was a windy night. I was hoping it's blowing the right way. Seems to be. And it's not going to change direction according to the weather, so if I get set up I should be all right. <sighs> Tough go on this though. Ugh. So, down that path there, this is them crags I was at. Uh, come all the way through the bog, up this bit, and then, ooh, this bit, it is as steep as it looks, look at the, the incline there, <laughs> and then over there is another, another rise, because this is a false summit, but it's knackered, 
least the wind's not blowing, making it hotter. And it's shaded as well, so it's not too hot. It's hot in the sun when the wind's not on you. But yeah. All that, all that used to be trees, you know, once upon a time. It's gone. It's the east coast. Northern lights. Oh! Remember, <laughs> it's not the northern lights tonight, it's the meteor shower I'm after. Let's we'll see. I think this is the this is the top, just up, just up there and then a little walk. It's normal false summit. This is about the third false summit. Whew. That's where I've come from. See the um the haze across there, that's rain. Drizzle. That wasn't in the forecast, mind. The MWIS forecast is all well, supposed to be reliable. I think the only thing you can rely on if they say it's gonna be windy is the wind because the wind blows all the clouds over you know so they can't really say it's going to be dry if it's a high wind it's going to bring cloud oh, they really can't predict that but oh, I hope it passes I don't want to get wet not so close to the top <laughs> wait I'll get my tent up and then do what you want then look how steep it is man it's a killer and it's slippy. It's this peat. I've had a few slips and fell yet. Slipped a few times. Did a little river dance, recovered. Oh, I Not easy like when it's damn slippy. See what I mean? It's five minutes later, and there's the cloud away. That's that. That's that cloud that had the rain in it. See? Rainbow. Very fine rain, but still wasn't in the forecast. Whew! Just a little bit to go now. Just there is the top. I'm feeling this. Might have had one glass of uh, shandy last night. So I'm feeling this. <laughs> right, I'm away to go up and get my face ripped off by the wind. See if I can find a little sheltered bit. Hopefully there's a spot. Tent set up. Um, that was the maximum gust just before. It's supposed to be getting worse as the night progresses, but if you can see down here, I'm in a little dip. It's got this for shelter, I've got this for a bit of shelter, and there's a little bit of a little bit of a half can shelter there. It's bull, you bastard. And at least wore their deltas in. The ground's really hard to kind of it's hard to get the pegs in, like I had to bash them in with a the rock. I had to move that big log. I had to shift that. That was across there. But I just moved it because uh because I'm hard like you know. It wasn't that heavy. 
I'm gonna I've made sure they're all tight. I mean look at that. 27 mile an hour, it's not even budging. Just see what it's like later on, like see if it lives up to the hype. Oh there's a peg, there's a clip off. So we'll see, we'll see if it's any good, worth the money or that's a load of rubbish if I have to bail out. We'll find out. Anybody, somebody's asking about Craig Charles uh, on the last video. Oh, yeah, he's on. I've got him on live now. I always listen to Craig Charles. Something I have to download the, uh, the show though, because don't always get a signal. I have got a signal tonight, so. Here's a few of the beers. This is a new one. Glide, another salt. New England IPA, 7% last. That looks, the can's lovely. These ones are all the same. I've got my tea over there. I'll have a look at that later on. I'm just gonna keep in here because that wind chills you to the bone. It's cold. Clouds coming over. Oh, it's gonna be miserable. But I love it. You know, I do. Whew, right. The wind's picking up now. I just had recorded 27 mile an hour on the Kestrel. See that? Just, just have a look from the back right now, really. Like seven point three. That was, that was just when I got the camera back. So, got the flex tail light. Nice. That's really bright. That's on the uh, middle setting. That. For tea tonight, we will have chicken fajita kit. How do you want to say it? Fajitas, fajitas. W. And I've got some wraps. Mini wraps. I bought um, six mini wraps because I couldn't eat three big ones. Oh, there's, a, there's a joke in there somewhere, isn't it? It's like um, it's like I went to buy a pizza and I told the guy, he says, "Oh, do you want to cut into six pieces or twelve pieces? Twelve-inch pizza?" I says, "Oh, just six pieces. I could never eat twelve." So that was my joke. Right, so uh, yeah, the wind's picking up. I should be alright in here. I think it's just gonna be noisy, you know. More than anything. I mean, I've got the guy lines well tight. Bang them delta pegs in my rocks, they're not coming out. I'd be lucky if I can pull them out. I don't mind the wind pulling them out. Listen. Aye, uh, it's coming. We'll see what happens eh? So I've got everything ready. Look at this. A pot grab. Stirring spoon. Doesn't matter if you're not. This is five pound, this frying pan from B and M's or something. I mean like that. I don't know if it's gonna stay light. I've got my shield, so it's my boots are on my shield tonight. Oh. Yeah, like that. So let's get cracking with the knacking. So we've got the, uh, the vegetables in, the veg is in, and uh, um, the sauce is over there. What we're going to do is put the wraps, I'm going to put them over the, uh, just put them on there like that. Obviously, not in the bag. Take them out of the bag first. Take them out of the bag, put them on, and then just wrap it. Should work. Yeah, it's now, you kind of pick this like, I'm warmed right up. Just cooking like this has warmed us right up. I've got the pan nice and low so there's no fat splashing about. It's on a, a little, there's a little silver disc underneath to stop it. I'm getting anywhere near the footprint. The winds are right at the minute, luckily. So it's all good. Yeah. And a shout out from Craig Charles. We still got it. Six years I've been doing that, getting shout outs from Craig Charles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sad, isn't it? Buzzing, man. Buzzing. The sauce is in. Don't know if I said that. Right, the sauce is in. It's spicy. Oh, it's got a little kick to it. Um, so, yeah, just gonna 
let that simmer through and then get a few wraps on. Wait, see, I'm just gonna lay, lay them over the top and then just fill them, wrap them. Do a, we'll do a master class in how to do wraps because I am the absolute expert at wraps. Never done a wrap in my life. Hold on. Fat's dumber now. Right, ooh, I brought the camera in because the whole reason of coming up was for that meteor show, but uh, it's just too cloudy. I'll put like a tiny little segment of the uh, the night laps I was getting. It's not working, mate. Mm. That's really that forbidden fruits. Nice northern monk. Um, I saw. That's it. There's only that. The sunset night time lapse, which oh, I thought was quite nice after all the cloud. See what happens in the morning at the minute. It's dead calm and dead still. So I think I might be in the eye of the storm. Because the, the forecast said it was going to get up to 50, 60 mile an hour winds. There's not a breath at the minute. So yeah, I might be in the eye. The eye of the storm is when like the storm comes, it's like a big swirl. And you get this outside wind. And it goes over and then you get the middle bit, the eye of the storm where there's no wind. And then you get the back end of it, which is the rest of it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Bit cold. It's a bit cold. Don't know how I'm gonna survive the winter. And get me bigger, me bigger down coat on. This is my thin coat still. Right, we'll crack on. We'll uh oh, I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. Whoa, oh, right, I've been 10 pound most of the night, but I'm out checking the guy lanes doing natural breaks. Let's go up here. See what it's like. I'm really sheltered there. Ah oh, no. Oh, giant slug. No idea. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. How sheltered you are until you go up there. That's mad. Madness. What was that? 37 mile an hour wind there. Uh, just that's 37. What's gonna be late when it's 65? As it's meant to be the morning. In the morning, overnight. Whew. Let's get back in, eh? Tighten these lanes and get back in. God, oh, it's too cold. Oh dear. Where's my light man? Where's my light man? Ah. Here I am. Right, I'm in. Oh, man. What a cold night. It's been freezing cold. I went back out on the top there and it was like 38 again. 37, 38 mile an hour. It's just awful. Like, don't want to be out on that. But you know what? I think this tent is taking it well. Oh, tired. I've shut the uh, I've shut the barn doors because this is a four season tent and I think this is getting close to the number four season so we're keeping it up but we've got the, this one isn't fully enclosed there's another layer to go over this that's full four season it's already soaking wet with the drop in temperature so I'm not bothered about condensation so I'm just getting cozied in it is cozy. Ah. Oh dear. Oh God, I'm tired. I'm knackered actually. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. We'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Even still here. It's supposed to get worse overnight. We'll see what happens. Oh dear. I've bailed before. 
You know, it's a straightforward hike just down off this hill. This is where I do have to pile out, you know. I've got my head torch. I've got that insanely bright hand torch. So, but hopefully it won't come to that. I can't see it. I'd look outside before. I've tightened all the guy lines. Outside, the exoskeleton isn't moving. It's just this inner here that um, blows around, but that's because obviously because this is not as tight as the outside. This is your um this is the bit that you know of, uh, you know it's just hanging from the inner. But the fly sheet outside and the poles are not moving. Ugh. <laughs> How many times are you on now? And I really think I'm really sheltered. I've picked actually the probably the only sheltered spot here. So if anybody else was up here tonight, they'd be having a hell of a time. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully. Well, I've survived the night. What a rotten day. Look at it, that's the day. Gail, um, you know, I went out before and it was like constant 35 mile an hour wind. No, not gusts, that was constant wind. Slept all right, actually. I slept in quite sound in here. In the, back, in the, in the pillow, that's nothing comfortable. Though. I'm liking that. It's a shape of it. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna get packed in here. Oh, I could have another hour. I could get packed in here, and then I'll drop the tent, keeping the keeping the guy lines in before when I drop it, so it doesn't get damaged. That's the way to do it. Should be simply packing then off that way, and then drop down a bit. Should get out the wind. Definitely pick the right place here. It's definitely the least windy part. Up on the top, it's absolutely mad. <laughs> you can't stand up. Right, crack on. Get on with it. solid I've got the door open now like right I'm gonna take it down watch this
now I just have to clear, put everything in the bags. Oh, just about ready now for anybody who has delta pegs, delta ground anchors, put them in your bag like that. All right. See you. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Normally, try to do it with one hand. F4. F5. Zips up. Mint. Right, look at this. Woo! What a weird place. It's like something out of June. Film June. Alright, I'm gonna um, get my bag on and go, go down there. Come back when we're out of the wind. My hands are frozen. So I've just dropped literally about 50 yards off the top and it's lovely. It's as calm as anything. Look, sun's burning the cloud away. So that's it, I've just got to drop down here, across that path to the crags of terror. The path of doom, that actually. Boggy is out. And then down from the crags to the car. So it's just down all the way. Steep, I've got to watch myself. I'm going to be filming because it's dead steep. There'll be none of this going backwards and forwards for the camera either. Because it's, it's too much like hard work for this hill. Right, that was a wild night, but I must say I'm really impressed with that tent there. That tent, it, it just felt like it wasn't windy outside. It just felt like a normal night, windy night, but when I got out, it was absolutely wild. So, top marks. And I might be having a break next week, I don't know. I haven't made any plans, really. We'll just see for the next one. So look at these views. <laughs> 